Hey, welcome to Today Matters. It's our daily devotional, three to five minutes just to get your day going, or for some of you night owls, it's to cap your day. Hey, we are in chapter two of Philippians, and today I wanted to talk to you specifically about what it talks about here in chapter two, the name of Jesus. So I'm going to read this section. If you have your Bibles there, we're in Philippians 2, 9 through 11. It says this, Because of this, the this that they're talking about, Paul's talking about here, is the example and humility that Jesus showed. God exalted Jesus to the highest honor and made his name greater than every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will one day bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and give glory to the Father. It says Jesus has a name greater than every other name. Have you ever wondered, like, why people use Jesus' name to swear? Have you ever even thought about that? Like, when someone's ticked off, nobody ever uses your name to cuss. Like, nobody ever says, you know, when they're mad, ah, oh, Jeremy McGarity, right? Or, or, or they don't, they, you know why our names aren't used as swear words when people are ticked? It's because our names are not the highest name. I'm not saying people don't get mad at us and want to cuss at us, but what I'm saying is our name isn't the highest name. Why do people use Jesus' name? Because there is no other name higher in the universe. People who swear don't even realize when they're swearing using Jesus' name that they're acknowledging that there's no higher name. There's no greater name. And so when they say that, you might just say, hey, amen, I agree, no greater name. But this is why they use it. If there was a higher name, they'd be using that name, right? There's no greater name. They don't even realize when they're swearing, they're actually affirming that Jesus' name is unlike anybody else's name, and that's why it's the one that gets used as a cuss word. Now, when it comes to non-believers and other religions, even Jesus' name gets the most press. Here's an example. Nobody ever says when they're ticked off, they don't say, oh, Buddha, right? Or they don't say, ah, oh, Mahatma Gandhi, ah, oh, Joseph Smith the founder of the Mormon church, in case you're wondering. Now, name the greatest spiritual leader you can ever think of. For me, it'd be someone like Billy Graham. Ah, Billy Graham. Like, we don't use that name. People say Jesus because there's no higher name. Now, notice, it says one day in heaven that everybody's going to be gathered at the judgment day, okay? Every person who's ever lived will be gathered before God. Every human being. It says at that time, every knee will bow. Every human being who's ever lived is going to bow before Jesus. Now, this is the highest honor when you bow before someone, and every tongue is going to confess. In other words, people are going to finally admit that Jesus Christ is Lord and give glory to God the Father. One day, even atheists are going to acknowledge the truth. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess on judgment day. When people say to you, what is this world coming to? You can say it's coming to this. One day, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is who he said he is, that he is the Son of God, that he is the Lord of the earth. What is this world coming to? Jesus. (laughs) It's encouraging to me that someday all the arrogance and all the idolatry, all the denial is going to end. And at that scene, when every person who's ever been created by God bows before Jesus and confesses who he is, every nationality is going to be there. Every era will be there. Every religion will be there. Every political type will be there. Everybody's going to be there. All the politicians, all the rock stars, all the businessmen and women, all the scientists, all the homemakers and all the athletes, they're all going to be there saying, Jesus is Lord. And the people who are farthest from Jesus, who would never say that, will admit it in that moment. It's not a matter of if you're ever going to admit this. It's just a matter of when. You will either do it now in love or you will do it later in judgment when it's too late. And one day you're going to acknowledge that you're not God. Only God is God and he sent his son to die for you. And you don't have any way of getting into heaven except through the grace of Jesus Christ. If there was any other way, believe me, God would have used it and he wouldn't have sent his son. So if you don't know Jesus, why not accept him today? And I want to just encourage you to follow me in this prayer. Let's pray together. Lord, There are people that are watching Today Matters that don't know you. And if that's you as you're watching, follow me in this prayer very simply. Dear Jesus, I want to acknowledge you as the Lord and Savior right now. Come into my life. Make me into the person you created me to be. 
If you said that, welcome to the family of Jesus Christ. Connect with us by sending us a message here on YouTube, and man, we'll love to help you with your next step. I want to encourage you, do it today, because today matters.